Welcome to AI Addict. Two years ago, we tested Tesla's advanced emergency braking ability. If you recall, in our previous Tesla test, the system did not perform as expected and we had to avoid many objects such as barbecue grills and beer kegs. Surely, after two years of software updates, Tesla must have solved the FSD beta suite, right? So for today's video, we joined the Dawn Project in Santa Barbara to put FSD beta to the test. To see how full self-driving reacts to child pedestrians, dogs, and road close signs in the road. Unlike two years ago, I'm not going to take over. If the Tesla's going to crash, I'm going to let it. Slow me down. A little bit. Holy f it has now been seven months since Elon Musk informed the world that full self-driving beta is available to anyone in North America. Surely the software is able to detect a vulnerable road user in its path and safely avoid the danger. If the software is truly as great as people on Twitter say it is, I should have nothing to worry about, right? Well, let's find out. To examine how full self-driving handles the situation in which a child runs in the path of a Tesla, We'll be conducting our tests with a realistic mannequin named Little Timmy to simulate a child running across the road. Timmy is the size of a four or five year old child, which is the age children can unexpectedly and do run across and into the road. After we show you how FSD reacts to Little Timmy in the road, we're gonna show you how the software reacts to a dog in the road. For this, we're gonna be using a black Labrador to simulate the dog, but more on this later. So if you look here on the screen, it says we have automatic emergency braking turned on and we're on FSD beta 11.44 and we are in Dan O'Dowd's Tesla. Wow, this is really fast. There's the kid. It's slowing down a little bit. Jesus. And it just <laughs> takes it wow. up. Wow, holy f <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it slows down as if like it knows, hey, there's something I should be doing right now, but it's not reacting the way it should be reacting, even though I did see like it detected something. I've never hit an object like that before and so fast. So we're now in my personal Tesla and not in Dan's vehicle at all. You can tell because the interior definitely has been swapped. If you come in here, you'll see that on the screen, I do have automatic emergency braking turned on. And for software, we, are, we do have a 11.4.2 on the vehicle, on my personal car. Speed limit is set to 55 on this road, so the car is going to accelerate. And I'm going to show you that I am not going to be covering the pedals at all. Touch the pedals at all, I should say. We're going 45 miles per hour, 46. It's starting to... Ah, fuck, it hits the brakes. Oh. But way too late. Holy... <laughs> Let's... Wow. Oh, it actually hit the brakes. It hit the brakes. That was the first time that it made like some solid attempt to stop. Not right. successful, but an attempt was made. Yes, there was an attempt made there, which is interesting. But again, the attempt was made far, far too late. Let's run that one more time on the software and then yeah. we'll upgrade to 11.4.4. So once again, we're in my own car. We're running FSD 11.4.2 and we have automatic emergency braking turned on. So now I'm gonna turn on FSD give it full screen for you guys. And again, we're gonna move my feet over so you guys can see the pedals. We're gonna see exactly how it reacts to a possible child in the road. Slowing down. We still hit it. It Again, it, right there on 11.42, it does slow down. It does detect a child. I, mean, I guess Tesla can detect children, but they can't properly slow down and stop in time is what I'm detecting. Yeah, I'm surprised that it actually braked and we're on 11.2. And on dot four on the other car, there was pretty much no reaction from the car. Let's go install 11.4.4 .4 to this car and see if there's any difference between this update and the other update. And if you guys are not familiar, the release notes for 4.4 .4 specifically say that they are increasing the VRU detection as well as pedestrians and crosswalks. And so we'll see exactly if this update that's supposed to improve that actually does what Tesla claims it's doing. As these tests demonstrate, Full self-driving did not stop for the child running in the road, which resulted in multiple nasty collisions, which would have been fatal had that been a real child. And this had been proved on Dan's Tesla running 11.4.4 .4 and on my personal Tesla running 11.4.2. Now let's update my personal Model 3 from 11.4.2 to 11.4.4 .4 in order to test how full self-driving will react to the dog we showed earlier. Just like the previous test, we'll be pulling the dog across the road and in front of the vehicle. Since the black Labrador is clearly visible against the road, the FSD system should clearly spot it and brake to avoid running it over, right? 
Well, let's find out. Recently, a dog was tragically killed in June of 2023 after it ran in the road in front of a Tesla with FSD enabled. So we will be testing whether Tesla has implemented any measure to mitigate the risk of such a collision with this update. So let's see what happens when this car comes, or this dog comes right in front of us. Oh, fuck. So- yeah, it's not even disengaged. And wow, it just continues on. Yeah. <laughs> it slowed down way too late. It, and even after slowing down way too late, it just continued on its drive like this. Wow. It doesn't even know that it hit something. If you think the Tesla tests so far have been wild, watch as we demonstrate Tesla's FSD's beta ability to mitigate road close signs and police caution tape. For an added bonus, let's see how it handles Timmy going for a walk with his pet dog as well. All right, so now we're in my personal Tesla again um, on FSD 11.4, and this is uh, the cherry on top. We have a do not enter sign with caution tape and a child walking a dog. So let's see how the car performs. So it goes right through, oh God, it goes right through the caution tape. Okay, it does see oh. them. It does see them. Oh my oh, God, it worked. We went in reverse. We went in reverse, guys. Did we? We stopped and went in reverse. Interesting. But we wow. still hit the kid. Still not going over. <laughs> and wait, the, it just re-ran over the kid and dog and just is and now it's carrying and on. It's now just carrying on. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, that definitely has been the most successful accident prevention we have seen out of all these tests so far with Tesla. And so for that, I applaud them. But how come the Tesla went through the do not enter, there was caution tape, and it should really understand what that is. And still ran over the kid after it stopped. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> A year ago, we disengaged to avoid collision. With the Dawn Project, we conducted the test on a private road to reduce the risk of danger to anyone, while allowing FSD to do its thing with no interruptions. When FSD was allowed to drive with minimal human intervention, it failed to stop for both a child and dog alike, which proves a serious safety risk. Luckily for little Timmy and dogs alike, Tesla says its driver monitoring system keeps a close eye on the driver and checks whether they're paying attention to the road. The driver monitoring system detects if a driver is distracted, such as if they're on a cell phone, asleep, or not paying attention to the road ahead. But how does it really work? Well, in our next video, we put the driver monitoring system to the test by examining its capabilities and effectiveness with some shocking results. Trust me when I say you don't wanna miss it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see that next video. Once again, I wanna thank the Dom Project for inviting us down and helping us create this video. And please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.